Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Wa atiyallah wa atiyya rasul wa ulil amri minkum And always a reminder for myself and have the firaji so da'ifu, miskeen, zalim, jahad and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence and this amazing grace of Allah's light and love that He gives as a gift and our life is to try our best to receive that gift and that Allah don't give it to someone else, that Allah can replace any people. So this position that we have in life, this ishq and love that we have in life is a gift from the Divinely Presence. When we hear all of its teachings, all its realities, it should open an awareness within our hearts that what a gift Allah has given to us. And that gift is of a sensitive nature and when we don't appreciate that gift, don't move for it, don't work for it, don't try to strive for it, Allah replace with thousands of other souls that He has in line to receive it. It's an immense ni'mat, immense blessing that it's, it's nothing from our mind, it's nothing from our understanding. We say as a shaykh just by watching it we can understand the immensity of its blessings. That a people that we thought come to something and Allah sends whom He wants and that's at the zikrs, at the associations, to the tariqah, to the events. We s- we've seen that all our life that we think a certain person will come or people will come and Allah sends whom He wants. Means at that moment He gave them that gift, He gave them that opportunity. And our life is about that when we have that gift what are we going to do with it? That every moment it's like a… that we think and every morning we wake up that, Ya Rabbi with this gift that You have given to me, what can I do for Your satisfaction, Your rida and Your satisfaction so that You don't pass this by to someone else that my willingness to do as much as I can, to to do whatever I can for your attention, for your nadar, for your satisfaction and for the attention and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad To live a life with that type of vigilance that it's a gift, it's a treasure. Every day waking up Ya Rabbi this treasure that you have given of an immensity, its responsibilities that give me the strength to do the things that will make you to be happy and that you don't pass us by thinking, if they're not going to do anything with it, I'll send it to someone else. So alhamdulillah that Allah continues to grant us that honour and that we convey that understanding to the people who are watching and coming up within the ranks and within this love and this muhabbat. It's nothing to be taken for granted, it's not something to be thought it'll always be there, I can step into it at that time. No, it's not going to always be there, it's there at that moment of Allah wants it to be and if it's not cherished and it's not nourished Allah send it as a gift to someone else. We pray that Allah inspire us always to do the best, to have the best of character so that this ishq and this love is always emanating from the heart like a satellite to receive the inspiration. Those whom live a life of samina wa atana, they, they heard the call of Allah and they labaik, they heard it and they answered that call of Allah So alhamdulillah we pray that in these holy nights Allah to dress us, dress our families and our loved ones with these tajallis that are of an immensity that can't be understood. And we pray that the the mawlid, the ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad be the, the one whom accompanies us within the grave. If the good deeds are to accompany us in this grave we pray that Allah make these to be the most beatific deeds. The one that most radiant and most beatific 
and to accompany us in our qabr and say that, I am the mawlid, I am the ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad that you so adamantly upheld that I'm now that light to be in the grave with you, to, to make your grave to be beatific. Because Allah when saying that, how can I punish a people when you are amongst them? And we've taught that to, to avoid Allah's anger and Allah is, is teaching in Ayatul Kareem of Qur'an, Qur'an and Majeed that, how can I punish a people whom when Sayyidina Muhammad is amongst them and they're making istighfar, they're asking for forgiveness. So we've taught that Ayatul Kareem for dunya that if we want that protection, we want that love, we want that ishq then make lots of salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad so that the ruhaniyat and the light of Prophet to always be with us so that Allah how to bring a punishment when that Nur Muhammad is all around that servant because Sayyidina Muhammad promised that if you make one durood, one salawat upon me Allah sends my soul to make ten salawats upon you. So imagine those whom are busy all day long making durood al sharif which is the highest level of dhikr of Allah Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa la ali Sayyidina Muhammad wa sallim. That immensity of that light, keeping the light of Prophet around the servant and Allah how to punish the servant when they're filled with that light and that love is all around them. Then imagine now in the qabr that all these salawats, all these zikrs, all this love, what type of lights of Sayyidina Muhammad begin to enter into the qabr, enter into that space in which we would be lonely and fearful. And that Nur Muhammad begin to enter into the qabr and make a beatific fragrance, a beatific light, beatific energies. By means of that light then we begin to understand what does it mean that when Allah gave intercession as a gift to Sayyidina Muhammad All Prophets were given a gift and the greatest gift that Allah gave, gave to Sayyidina Muhammad was the intercession, to intercede for creation. Because that light begins to enter into the grave and dress the servant, bless the servant and by means of that light Ayatul Kareem comes into effect and then Allah how I can put a punishment within the grave when Nur Muhammad is all encompassing within that grave, filling the grave, making it to be beatific and fragrant. We pray that Allah grant us these realities, many of which are completely unknown and those from which only a small sample of its understandings have been given, Ya Rabbi grant us all of it, grant all of its blessings and its immensities for the sake of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad dress our, our grave to be filled with lights and filled with beatific realities inshaAllah. Hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Shafat Ya Rasulul Kareem, Ameen, Ameen, Ameen. MashaAllah we've had many nights now of programs, are there any questions from, from the people who are watching online and participating and at a distance wishing that they could be at the celebrations and, and the, you, you… the shaykh carries everyone within their heart means the immensity of love and ishq and the immensity of, of this way of realities is by merely keeping that bond of love and keeping the, the bond of these associations. This ishq, this khidmat that people continuously logging in and we see the names all the time, continuously supporting, continuously commenting, continuously sharing these feeds. This love is contained within the heart of the shaykh and the shaykh presents that love to his shaykhs, to his shaykhs, to his shaykhs all the way to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Their way is not the way to, to look on a physical sheet to see 
but their way is to look within the heart of the servant. When they look into the heart of the servant whom they love, they want to see these names within the heart. When Allah looks to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad what he sees? When you're asking for another and when we're asking for all of these, these programs and why we do these programs? From the level of the understanding of the shaykh they do all these activities to get the attention of Sayyidina Muhammad because every amal will be presented to Sayyidina Muhammad When these amals begin to approach that reality it's written that this is from no John, this is from so and so, this is from so and so. And these are all their love, like an email into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad All these love, all these loves, all these actions of love so that to get the attention of the light and the ruhaniyat of Sayyidina Muhammad Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem, we're doing whatever we can for the immensity of your love and that your nazar be upon us, our families and our communities. As soon as that nazar comes that he sees that activity, he's getting all of the, the information of its immensities of blessings, that means then now Prophet has identified that love, that individual and they reside within the heart of that reality. And that's what's meant by the holy hadith that you will be with whom you love. There's physicality but the most important is through the heart and soul of Sayyidina Muhammad That I see your actions, I see the love that you have, I see all these efforts that you're doing and as a result it's under my attention and when it's under my attention your name is in my heart. Your place is in my heart, I see you as you're now about to begin to see me. Means this ishq and this love of immensity of the actions we provide and the nazar and the gaze of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad upon us places us within the heart and that's what Allah is looking at. He looks only to the heart of that reality and sees the name of that individual in there. The name of all those whom are doing these acts of love within that heart and that's what's important that every, every action that we're doing to gain entry into the heart and that our name be written within the heart and that the nazar of that reality to be on the heart. And same for the shaykhs that when the shaykhs are, are receiving all this support all this khidmat, all this help, all this love in the way, the names of these people are in the heart of the shaykh and that's where Sayyidina Muhammad is looking. He says, I look to your heart, I look to your soul and I see these names and that's where the rid and satisfaction comes, that's where my nazar is dressing and blessing and uplifting. We pray that we understand these realities and the immensity of love, the immensity of how much energy and attraction is, is gained through this love and the bond that is built is something that can't be understood. So alhamdulillah those whom are at a distance but they're always supporting, always commenting, you're not distant. Wherever we are that, that individual their souls are with us and participating in every event and everything is presented always to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad That reality of Sayyidina Muhammad knows that you're not here by yourself, that your shaykhdom is here as a result of all these people whom love you, who support you, who believe in your teaching and in your character. When your character is good people try to put out a paper and say, I'm the deputy of the whole world and the southern region of South America, the deputy of Eastern Africa, the deputy of the moon. That doesn't bring people by you deputizing yourself on certificates and papers. What brings people is good character. They have to believe that what you teach is from your soul, not from your mind and that your character is attracting people. 
So Prophet knows that, he says, I see all these things you do and the character that you have and these people love you, they trust you, they want to be with you and then that reward comes to all those whom are supporting. The shaykh if he does his shaykh work right, he should be inspiring people towards that love, towards that rahmah, towards that good characteristic and they all be written with its blessings. So we pray that all these actions and all these beatific actions and this beatific love and this beatific way to be dressed by the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad and that his rida and satisfaction be upon us and our families and that they gain access to the immensity of this ocean of love and this well and fountain of abundant overflowing rahmah and mercy, knowledges and power powers of Divinely angels and energy inshaAllah.